Now this is our crew out doing a little pruning for spring. It's been difficult to get outside this year and do pruning since we've had so much snow, but this is the perfect time before your trees leaf and before they start to bloom to get out there and do some pruning on your fruit trees as well as your shade trees and uh, get things ready for spring. So it's critical that uh, you get the pruning done at the right time, but there's also plenty of time throughout the season to do some maintenance pruning as well too. So fruit trees, we like to prune early on in the season, but uh, you know, if you, if necessary, if things move rapidly this spring and the leaves really burst into bloom, it's okay to prune after they're done blooming as well too. So it's all right. But our crews do a wonderful job at pruning and uh, we've got some time slots available if you need someone to come prune for you. But if you want to do your own pruning, we've got all the tools necessary here at Anderson Seed and Garden. So hand pruners, now, when it comes to pruning, I like to have a hand pruner for doing small, delicate, uh, intricate cuts, getting close to the trees. But you also need a lopper as well, too, to get some of those bigger branches. And then I always have a saw, either a hand saw or a small chainsaw, usually both, to, to take out some of those bigger branches because you can't always cut everything with a lopper that you, that you need to cut. Uh, bigger saw really does make a difference. So we've got some great information here at Anderson Seed and Garden, as well as on our brand new website on how to prune, where to make the cuts, how to make the cuts, and how to train your trees to grow properly so you get the best fruit production ever. So our fruit pruning guide has all that information in there to make you feel comfortable when you're out pruning. So whether you're pruning on your own or whether you'd like us to come do it for you, now's the time to get out there and do some pruning.